Hey Ellie, thanks for having us for 73 questions. It's good to have you. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Great, thanks. Only 72 questions to go. Let's get started. Let's go. Firstly, what course are you studying? I'm on the Level 3 Fashion Business and Retail course. What's Level 3? So, on Level 3, it's equivalent to three A levels, and you also get UCAS points from it too. And what specifically do you study on Level 3 Fashion Retail? Um, on Level 3, we kind of cover a whole basis of fashion business and retail. So, from visual merchandising, marketing, buying, and more. Are you in your first or second year? I'm in my first year. What made you apply to the FRA? Um, funnily enough, I actually saw a student stay in the live TikTok and I just thought I have to go. And here you are. Have you always loved fashion? I have. From a very young age, I had to dress myself and my mum had absolutely no say. Looking back on it now, it probably wasn't the best decision because it was a lot of polka dots and pink. And do you plan your outfits for college each day? Um, occasionally. I usually kind of pick a statement piece and then build an outfit around that. Who's your celebrity style inspiration? I love the model of Duty Style, so probably Cindy Crawford or Bella Hadid. So where do you travel in from? I'm actually from Wales. That is not close to London. It's do you travel in each day? I travel in each week, um, but sometimes it can get a lot, but it's totally worth it. Were you nervous to make a move like that? I was more excited than nervous. I, think I definitely love the beach, but I think I'm a city girl at heart. So, how are you finding the course? I genuinely love it. What does a typical day look like at the FRA? Honestly, it kind of varies. Some days we can just be completing project research and other days we can be presenting to the owners of Silk Thread. So it's honestly really unexpected, but educational nevertheless. And what does your timetable look like? Everyone's in for two full days a week. How long are the days? Uh, nine to five, so it kind of gets you prepared for the working world. So what do you do with your other three days in a week? I usually just complete project research or any coursework that I didn't manage to complete for a week. Have you got a part-time job? I do. I'm a waitress, um, so I don't find it that difficult to fit in working, my working life and education at the same time. Is the work at the FRA hard? It can be challenging sometimes, but I like to take notes as I go along so that I can always refer back to them. Have you got any big deadlines coming up? I actually do. I've got my FMP in just over a month, um, so I'm just preparing for that really, and because it is a big one. Do you get a lot of help from your tutor? Occasionally, yes. Um, they're so, so helpful with any questions that we might have, um, but it is a lot of independent work. And what are you studying right now? Uh, right now, I've just started my FMP, so I I'm looking at buying and merchandising with a crossover of marketing and how 80s rock impacted fashion then and fashion now. That sounds fun. What has been your favourite module so far? I'd say the marketing module. And why do you like it? I'm quite a creative person, so having the creative freedom to just think of innovative ideas on how to promote a business was really interesting to me. So what is the industry involvement that you've had so far? We've had master classes and industry projects. Do you know how many brand partners the Fashion Retail Academy has? I don't think I do. How many is it? Over 140. Oh my god, that's crazy. So what is a master class? So a master class is when somebody from the industry comes in and speaks to the college students about their industry experience and how they got to where they are in their career. That sounds interesting. And what's been your favourite masterclass so far? I'd probably say when the previous FRA students came in to show us their examples of work. Um, it kind of gave us an insight into what we have to look forward to in the rest of our course. And what are the industry projects? So the industry projects are actually really fun. So it's when a brand comes in to give us a brief and then the work that we create from that brief, they give us feedback on it. And which brand set your last project? So the last industry project was set by the company What Does Not. And what was the project about? It was all about including the very important conversation about mental health in today's fashion industry. And my group actually did really well and we ended up presenting to the owners. What else have you got coming up on your course? They've got so many things planned for us, but there are talks of a V&A trip, which I'm really excited about. Anything you're really excited about? That trip and everything else. Cool. Can you tell us a bit more about life at the FRA? Of course. What do you want to know? What's your favourite thing about the FRA? Oh, probably that we're in the middle of London. And the best thing about studying in London? The hustle and bustle of the city and that everybody here is welcome. I just love it. I'm just going to head down to the design studio, so I'll meet you there. Can you tell us a bit more about your tutors? So, all the teachers have actually worked in the industry themselves and some of them still do. So they're all incredibly knowledgeable about the industry so they know what they're talking about. What's your tutor's background? So, my tutor Vicky, she has a background in design. Um, she's absolutely amazing and she's always there when I need her. That's pretty cool. And what has been the best bit of advice you've received so far? 
To be kind to every single person that you meet in the industry because it's such a small world and a good first impression can go a long way. Do you find the work at the FRA challenging? Occasionally, but I love learning about things that I didn't know about before. Like what? The actual roles of a buyer and merchandiser. Tell us more. What is a buyer? So a buyer, their job is to work very closely with a brand and to decide what actually goes into store. And a merchandiser? They deal with the math side of things. Um, so how many stocks, how much stock to buy and which stores to go into. Do you have any idea of what you'd like to specialise in once you finish your level three? Um, I don't know for sure, but I have a family friend in buying and I love that module, so probably buying. And what's your plan for after level three? I'm not sure. I've always wanted to do an apprenticeship, but I'm not ruling out uni just yet. Don't the FRA offer undergraduate degrees? Yes, they do, in partnership with Falmouth University. And why are they called degrees with a difference? Because everything about the FRA is different. Oh, okay. But more specifically? Well, they're two years as opposed to three. So, you still get a full undergraduate degree, but you can start your career a year earlier than everyone else. Exactly, but if you do a level four diploma, then you're ready in just one year. A level four diploma? Is that similar to a degree? Yes, the next step above the level three. Oh, I see. And what can you study on a level four diploma? You can do garment technology, visual merchandising, fashion business, everything like that. Wow, they both sound like great options, but that is a lot to think about. It definitely is, but I've got another year to decide, so I'm not worried just yet. Should we go? Sure, let's go. So, what are you up to next? I'm just going to go and meet my friends. There's loads of places around here. And what are your friends like at the FRA? Oh, they're all amazing. We all clicked instantly. Is it nerve-wracking starting a new college not knowing anyone? I think it's nerve-wracking starting anything new, but what you've got to remember is everybody here is in the same boat. Was it easy to make friends? It definitely was. Everybody's so welcoming. We're like a family. Or should you say family? Yeah, family. And where are you going now? Um, I'm just going to go to the shops, probably. Is that how you spend your lunch breaks? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes I bring my own lunch and sometimes we go out. But there's so many places in London, it's great. And where's your favourite place to shop? Probably charity shops. Even though that's a hard one, you can find some absolute gems in there. And who would be your dream brand to work with? I'd say Wolf and Badger. That's a cool brand. Does the FRA have good career support? Yes, absolutely. They can help you write any CV or prepare for any interview that you might have. And what if you want to go to uni? They can help you write a killer UCAS application. Sounds like you get a lot of support. You definitely do. Not just on the educational side, but on the wellbeing side as well. That's really helpful. And where can you go if you need them? Um, they're always in the wellbeing room. It's so nice to know that you can always go there if you need anybody to speak to. Okay, let's do some quick fire this or that. Let's fashion go. design or fashion retail? Uh, fashion retail, obviously. Industry project or masterclass? Masterclass. Level four or undergraduate degree? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Wales or London? Both. Skinny jeans or wide leg? Wide leg. High street or luxury? High street. Blazer or puffer jacket? Blazer. TikTok or Instagram? I'd say Instagram. Okay, I think we're almost done. Can you describe the FRA in three words? Fun, interesting, and different. Do you have any advice for new students? Um, enjoy it but concentrate as well. <laughs> Last one, are you glad you came to the FRA? It's the best decision that I ever made.